The 8th International Conference and Gathering of Elders has begun today at Siksha Valley School in Dibrugar and it will continue till 1st of February. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Vishya Sharma inaugurated the conference in the presence of RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat. As many as 300 participants from over 33 nations have convened for the conference to share their spiritual wisdom, represent their traditions and experience others. The conference will aim at fostering an exchange of ancient indigenous knowledge with the objective of building shared sustainable prosperity for the world. Paper presentations, panel discussions, workshops and cultural nights centered around the topics of ecological wisdom, collaborative governance and revival of the traditions will be featured during the course of the conference. It is truly an honor and privilege to stand before you at the 8th International Triennial Conference and Gathering of Elders. First of all, let me welcome all of you to this state of Assam. Assam is known as a very important state of India. We are situated in the northeast part of our country. And I, I am sure in the next five days, you will be in Assam and Arunachal and you will be able to explore our beautiful state. This conference is hosted by International Center for Cultural Studies. I extend my heartfelt appreciation to the ICCS for organizing this remarkable event. The ICCS was established in Nagpur, India in 1997. The founders were interested in studying similarities among various cultures of the globe. A key objective of the ICCS has been to network globally to cultivate strong bonds with native communities of the world. The theme of this conference shared sustainable prosperity resonated deeply with the challenges and aspiration of our time. The current era is marked by a negative global impact on indigenous tradition and faiths. To address these challenges, it is imperative that we draw upon the wisdom embedded in our indigenous faith and start a course for the preservation and propagation of, the, of this belief for a sustainable future. Dharma, Dhamma, is beautiful and blissful in the beginning, in the midst, and also at the end. That is, how, that is one of the definitions. We knew this because we were spiritually oriented. We knew that there is something beyond the material existence. And somewhere in the ancient times, our elders, they, they became, they, they came in contact with this and they understood everything is one. It appears in diverse ways, but everything is one. Not all are one. Everything is one. And then they also found that that one, in our imaginations, it takes many forms and many names. But through whatever forms and whatever names we worship, or we try to know, we know the same. We know the one. Everything goes there. So there is no point in quarreling about diversities. Diversities are decoration of existence. Existence is basically one. And that one has taken many forms and many names. And that is why there is no quarrel. There need not be any quarrel. There should not be. There must not be any quarrel. We should respect, welcome, all diversities. We should accept all diversities. Be 
fast on your own way with faith in mind you walk on your own way respect all other ways Thank <laughs> you.